Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this video. And by the way, you're going to make this video to be recommended in YouTube platform. And secondly, you are going to make this video to reach more people. Please consider liking the video. I will appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for the like. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Madam Rachel Ruto is trending online. And the reason why she's trending online is because Kenyans are coming out live live, telling her with her statement that she is literally lying. She is literally lying. Madam Rachel Ruto is saying, the reason Uganda is very fertile and it has been raining is because of the East Africa revival that swept Uganda. That is the statement that Madam Rachel Ruto is telling us. I just got, got reminded about the Thanksgiving and this is a prayer in my heart. Imagine 1621 is when Americans started celebrating a day of Thanksgiving. I'm sure many of you have been in America during that weekend of Thanksgiving. And Americans travel all over to visit family. It is a day of family. People go to give thanks together with their family. Many of us are aware of that, isn't it? As I sat here this morning, I made a prayer to God. And I told God, I pray that Kenya will one day have a day of Thanksgiving. Amen? So please pray with me so that we, it's actually a holiday. Apostle Sub, you've been to America during Thanksgiving and nothing happens. It's Thanksgiving and you can see the history. It was because of a great harvest that they got. It's because of what God has done for them. There is nothing as good as giving God thanks for what he has done. And just like uh, the preachers that have been here, the people that have prayed that came here said, our lives will never remain the same because we came here today to give thanks. Buenas, if you, were. you know the rains that we have received one day in 2022 when Uganda was celebrating 60 years. We flew to Uganda. And when I landed in Uganda, Apostle Subi and Apostle Suna, Uganda was very green, yet Kenya was so dry. I remember making a prayer and telling God, God, why can't Kenya be green like Uganda and see what God has done? When we pray, God answers. But the other day I got an answer why Uganda is, you know, you know, we talk, you know we, in Kenya we have to plant with fertilizer. But Apostle Subi told me that Ugandans don't plant with fertilizer. This fertilizer that you hear our president saying, you know, we have to give the fertilizer to the farmers. In Uganda, there is no fertilizer. True? And uh, Apostle uh, Subi told me that he was so shocked when he came to Kenya and he found that Kenyans were planting their crops with fertilizer. But I got an answer the other day. The reason why Uganda is very fertile and it has been raining is because of the East Africa revival that swept Uganda and some parts of East Africa. Now let me tell you, revival has come to Kenya. In days to come, these rains you are seeing will not come to an end. And in days to come, we shall not be using fertilizer. We shall be growing our crops and they will be growing. And we shall have plenty in the name of... Now, Kenyans, when the first lady, Madam Rachel Ruto, decided to say that Uganda normally don't use fertilizer during their uh, planting season is because of prayers. It is because of the East Africa revival prayers that was done in Uganda. But now, Kenyans are coming out to bash off Madam Rachel Ruto, as even you can clearly see the faces of her audience. And it speaks it all because they are sincerely wondering what she is talking about. Because if truly it is prayer, we usually believe in prayers. And 
and i know kila mtu kuna kitu ana believe in and prayers is something that is more important but again those who are in this government they are so exaggerating more about prayers because Kenyans are asking why should these prayers be extended to the affordable housing project and also taxation because if you can pray na mwa nyeshe na wa Kenya usitumie fertilizer it means you can pray but it's yeshe you can pray vile madam Rachel Ruto alisema kwamba wataenda a team a good team waenda waombe haiti violence na chaos yeshe the same Kenyans are asking madam Rachel Ruto if truly you are talking more about prayers then you should pray for those who are suffering mali penye kuna desert na wanakufa huko na njaa you can go and pray there vua inyeshe wasikuwe hata wanaenda kwa mashamba watakuwa wanasimama tu wanaomba mahindi zinatokea kwa kwa mashamba and now some Kenyans are also saying that you know it's like saying we will be producing doctors without them attending university yani you just pray na mtu anageuka anakuwa sajio that is what Kenyans are telling my dear Rachel Ruto that we are no longer going to keep quiet these prayers 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 we believe in prayers but again you are too much prayers with action in our manner hivi and prayers without without action is nothing Kenyans prayers with uh, without action is nothing because today nikoja i want to uh, to to to, to uh, pay my bills yes i want to eat nataka ni vibe will i just sit in a certain room na niombe tu mungu leta manguo mungu leta chakula you must work you must work you cannot just sit there na kusema kwamba like you got the way madam Rachel Ruto is telling us at wao wamekaa tu no wamekaa tu na kuomba pap mvua inakuja wanaomba tu hata watumie fertilizer and let me tell you one thing when Russia was supporting countries african countries with the fertilizer Uganda was one of them Uganda was one of them na walipewa fertilizer so i want to say that we tunadanganya tu live live on camera but the way prayers works is that you pray in action you pray with action some Kenyans are saying that waombe huko masturbate watu waache kukufa na kanza that is what Kenyans are also asking madam Rachel Ruto but Kenyans some are saying as already William Ruto is like a liar is lying to us every now and then our first lady is also lying to us yani tumebebwa kama pepper bag yani tumebebwa tu hivi hivi atujui kenya chochote tunaambiwa that is what kenyans are saying that they are tired with this kind of prayers without action prayers without action you know if you people you bring mvua ikoje ndio hiyo mvua si ndio si mvua iko tunaweza kaa tu bila kwenda kwa shamba hadi sasa wameomba mvua imekuja sasa tukae tu hadi sasa hiyo mvua italeta chakula no we must pray mvua ikikuja tuna stomach kwa mashamba na kwa hii mashamba kuna vitu lazima tuweke kwa pale mashamba kuna fertilizer you know in a boost yield na different fertilizers iko pale watu wanatumia kuna inchi kubwa kubwa pia wako na mvua kila wakati but they usually use fertilizer so you cannot tell us that Uganda they are not using fertilizer because of prayers yenye ilifanyika Uganda you know it is not turn, it is not turning out as it is um, true i think uh, the kind of christianity that we are being told is simply 
kinder of trauma response and her man William Ruto is also day in day out telling us about issues yenye wa Kenya wanaamini ni kama ukweli lakini si ukweli and i told you here very clear William Ruto was so clear wakati aliingia alikuwa kwamba kuna to rejection kulikuwa kunaenda so angepandis angepandisha bei ya unga na mafuta then in certain period of time yeye yeah, amepandisha na 60 and reduce na 17 bob mkipiga makofi hivi yeye yeah, anajienjoy you know this man is collecting taxes this man is borrowing this man ni pesa 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 then you want to tell us that we are still believing in this statements of these people you know but william mtu pia anatuambia at if it was not prayers dola yenye rudi chini dola imerudi chini because they went ahead and they borrowed 500 billion dollars yenye na circulate in the market inafanya pesa yetu inakuwa na nguvu they borrowed 500 billion dollars na alisaidiwa nayo ili to stabilize our shilling against dollar the same thing that is happening with William, William Ruto is telling us oh with prayers be ya unga inge rudi chini at with prayers m hmm, vua inge nyesha that is what William Ruto has been always telling us the same so i think kenyans they are furious they are so furious na hata watu wanasema hata kama first lady anapenda mungu it is excess hata kama anapenda mungu it is too much excess it is excess ladies and gentlemen do you agree with mama rachel Luto? that through prayers it is why uganda they don't use fertilizer what do you think ladies and gentlemen drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till you meet in another video